Today's ops today. I'm working for the sellers today. They had a buyer's inspector come in and say water's making it into the property. And my goal is to see if he's correct. Let's go check it out. What's going on here is that we had the buyer's inspector come in and say there was water making it in the property. He can't really identify it because the fiber cement's all the way down to the ground and the the pool decking is built a little high. We normally see a drain right here. His opinion was pretty good because there's some efflorescence on the ground and he has some baseboard swelling. The client said they had no previous damage from Harvey, so we know that no water's, no massive amount of water is making it in, but they had some previous termite damage, previous treatment. This area is a perfect area for termites. Fiber cement's all the way to the ground, the decking that is built all the way to the wall. So there could be several things going on here. You could have active termites, or you could have just a little bit of water seepage. How we're gonna determine that is we're gonna do some base test readings with the moisture meter to see if we have any active moisture and do a thermal scan to see just base readings before we do anything. And then right after that, we're gonna spray the wall with water and see if those readings increase or decrease to try to determine why these baseboards look the way they do or if it's, it's old damage. All right, let's go start that test. Moving on to the inside of the property, we're gonna use the Prode meter. We're gonna do the non-intrusive test first, so you can see it's working. We're gonna do the test across the board. This is why the inspector called out a possible water intrusion. You have efflorescence around the base of the moist baseboard. And then also you can see the baseboard is swelling a little bit. This is a sign of moisture intrusion. Uh, the client was saying that there was previous termite damage. So this could be previous termite damage or moisture. Right here looks a little bit like moisture. So let's give it a go. We're gonna, we have a high reading up top at 172 and it goes up to 430 at the base. Oh wow, it's a little higher there. Same thing, 152, about 192 at the base. And right over here, we'll do another test. We have 165 and a 250 at the base. So it's saying that there's water. All right, let's get that thermal camera. All right, we're starting the moisture reading with the thermal scan. Uh, just trying to find a temperature, temperature difference if there's water in the wall. Uh, we're reading the base board at the top and base showing that the temperature is pretty consistent at 69 degrees, and then we're gonna run it all the way across the baseboard. Um, we have a little bit of cold air coming out the base over there, but that's not where we're seeing the efflorescence or the signs of moisture. Uh, the thermal scan is not showing any signs of moisture right now before we hit the wall with the water hose. I'm spraying the wall, I wanna make it clear, inspectors cannot run a test like this without the owner's permission. Any test, or something that may cause damage to the property, the state prevents inspectors from completing a test like this. Okay, now that we got the inspector rules out of the way, let's run down how I'm completing this test and why. You can see, you can see I do not have a high pressure on the hose. The reason is I'm trying to mimic a light rain to imitate water running down the siding and hitting the ground like water would flow naturally. While I perform this test, you can see I have about a one centimeter of buildup of water traveling across the pool decking. This is the first sign that the other inspector is probably correct. On the side note, you know that the fiber cement board needs to have ground clearance. Hardy manufacturer recommends eight inches. The common practice I see in Texas is about four to six. It's different everywhere, but it needs to be off the ground, bottom line. Because the siding is not installed right, you have high decking with no French drain system, high soil around the corner, and, uh, and signs of efflorescence on the ground on the inside. This is already leading me be to believe this is active. Let's go on the inside and finish my test and see if this other inspector is correct. All right, so the test was about five minutes or so running the water and I really don't see any active water coming in. We're gonna see if we get higher uh, moisture readings. Yeah, honestly, this looks like, this looks like water though. And it's about the same. Yeah, this is, that's still, yeah, that went up a little bit right there. Oh yeah, that, it went up right here. That one hit 500, 560, not 100. Yeah, it, it, it went up. So 
So it looks like that we probably do have some moisture intrusion. We're gonna do it on the thermal because before this was hitting about 400. Okay, I took a moment to talk to the clients because of the increase, but now we have a 100% reading of water. I wanna make it clear the reason why I did not jump saying it was wet as soon as the moisture meter flashed red is because metal sets off the proteometer too. It could have been some sort of weird flashing the pool company put in. I can't see behind the walls and that's the purpose of the water test. The fact is because the proteometer moved indicates we have moisture coming in and it is not a false reading. We have an active water penetration at this point. The next phase is the thermal scan. The first question the client asked is why does the moisture meter go off but the thermal does not show an image? This is a great question. Infrared cameras are very commonly mistaken to be able to see through walls. Thermal scans only can read temperature difference. It takes a long time for the wood or baseboards temperature to change enough to make the camera to produce an image. In this case it could take up to 20 minutes or up to hours later before the water changes the temperature of the wall. While scanning, you can very slightly see a change in the image, but the camera will not always work. That is really what I'm trying to get at. This is a perfect example of why thermal scans are not always accurate. Okay, that was a pretty unique test. We don't normally get to spray houses with water because it's called an intrusive test. So we got the seller's permission. It showed that the other inspector's findings were accurate. That the you could see that the moisture meter actually even went up after we did test the wall showing that little water is making it in there are a lot of different solutions to this you could either add the best solution that i think i could come up with is that they add a pool surface drain across the edge here maybe a membrane behind it uh, it is odd that they built it like this but you can see the high soil around the property um, that's great if you have any other houses out there that you want me to run experiments on, please give me a call and please always like and share the videos. Thanks guys. Bye.